Welcome back, everyone. I'm gonna try not to yell so much this time. Need to be quiet, stoic. Need to maintain composure and stay calm under pressure. Pressure being funny TikToks. Of course, I'm drinking wine. It's the only way you can watch TikTok. <laughs> but yes, today I'm gonna try not to laugh. I am going to try not laugh. And again, do not forget, ladies and gentlemen, that Tears Don't Fall cover that I'm doing, vocally, guitars, drum, doing everything, will be uploaded to Patreon. So if you want a chance to listen to Tears Don't Fall by Bullet from Valentine, my cover of it, three weeks before it goes live on YouTube, then check out the Patreon. Link is down below. But in the meantime, I will place upon my head, upon my cranium, the AKG device in which I use to communicate with the TikTokers. TikTokers? TikTokonians? <laughs> Let's just do this. Let's do it. Straight in. <laughs> when you throw a can of Pringles at your significant other's head and make an electronic drum sound that is actually usable. Interesting. Wait, just... Just for some context, because I feel like it's needed here. So my sister put too much pepper on her egg and thought solving it with a vacuum. That's literally where it ends. I'll help you with the grammar on that sentence later, but for now, let's have a look and see how your sister dealt with the too much pepper issue this morning. There's actually tears in my eyes. <sighs> Must be all the pepper! Can you see? Can you see the tears? I'm definitely glinting. Just a bit. Two things. Two things. Obvious being her entire breakfast. Gone. <laughs> gone in an instant. <sighs> With a hilarious sound. <laughs> Secondly. There's still pepper on the plate. It didn't go anywhere. So she solved the egg problem. There was too much egg on her pepper. Problem solved. Oh, I see. Too much pepper on the egg. Yeah. You definitely failed that one, honey. There's still pepper on the plate. Then... I need to move on. I can't watch that again. If I watch that again, I'll break. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Don't make animals make that noise. It's not cool. God, could you imagine? I don't think there'd be quite as many dog breeders if if dogs if dogs made those those noises. Now I'm thinking about. Someone just casually getting into dog breeding. I don't know if you can do that casually, but someone trying it out and uh, forever, forever mentally scarred by the noises they make. <laughs> this is a tough one. This is tough. Just a little bit of advice to everyone out there. Never ever hit on someone if you're wearing track pants. It is not your day. Come back. Regroup. Come back with a better plan. A better outfit. I would give you suggestions, but the only thing I can say is anything but track pants. Not a good look. Or does it show unbridled confidence? You're dressed down that day. You don't feel like getting dressed up. No, today's a casual day. You got a quick errand. Just something quick. Just a brief visit to the groceries. We need to pick up a component for an electronic device that has broken down or needs something else. So you quickly throw on... I'm making this funnier. So you quickly throw on your track pants, you go outside, you go out, you go into the store, but even in your brevity, even in your rush, you still find the time to hit on someone. Interesting to think. 
that maybe perhaps the person you're hitting on should be flattered that you took the time out of your day, your busy day, to hit on them. Everyone hit on someone with track pants on. It's clearly a power move. Next! TikTok? <laughs> now you're from TikTok. Hot. <laughs> Lol. Show me that D. <laughs> this is what... It's creeping on me. This is what I was talking about. This is one of the things I was talking about, you know, when I was- because I think that's... Grinder. I can't with the gaze. Okay. So this- I'm- that's Grinder. So, this is what I was talking about, you know? If, you know, I'm in a situation where if I want to meet someone, I'm signing up to Tinder. What if that happened? I know you from- I know you from YouTube. My immediate shock and horror aside, and they're just like, yeah, I love your reaction videos. And then they're like, react to these, and then they send, like, Boobies or something. Would not appreciate! Well, my girlfriend has been putting actual pictures from her phone onto Animal Crossing. She's got friends, her mom, and things like that. And what she's done to me is she's put my whole not sign crack on the fing. I don't think I can show that. I don't think I can show that. <sighs> Say fever. It's bad today. It's the Scottish accent. It's the Scottish accent. It's the delightful music. It's the completely pleasant game. Which, by the way, I, I've seen cause nothing but stress, anger, drama. I don't think this was the intention of Nintendo. I don't think so. I don't think it was the intention at all. Just a cute little game and they can like find little islanders and villages and they can invite them over and they can share their interests and they can sing and they can go to the museum and it's cute. But all I've seen is the most sadistic reactions to this cute little fun game. Just the things people have said, the way this game makes people feel, it's bizarre. It's very it was very strange. It's also the fact that for some reason his girlfriend has that photo. How does she have that photo? Why does she have that photo? Next, before I think about it too much. Kinsey, I caught some. Oh, the dead silence before that. Where the director is meant to yell, action! We have a little bit of a uh, dad go. But you're not gonna believe what it costs me. <laughs> It was worth. It was worth the dead air at the beginning of the video. <laughs> that was kind of like Snape. It was worth the dead air at the beginning, Mr. Potter. I know what you do in your dorm, Mr. Potter. You didn't like my TikToks, Mr. Potter. Kenzie, I caught some. But you're not gonna believe what it cost me. <laughs> that. Mmm, it's great, eh? Mmm, that's a little... salty. <laughs> it's about taking a load in the mouth! And what's funnier is... What's just as funny, what makes it funny, is the fact that Sophie Louise was watching Ice Age. <sighs> and thought! Man, it's kind of like taking a load in the mouth. I miss my boyfriend. Ooh, I could post that to TikTok. Dog should be neutered for one and two. I think he knew what he was doing. Weird flex, but okay. Flexing on other dogs if you have been neutered. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
your friend has sleep apnea by the sounds of it, and needs help. But sure, row your boat, saw that log, start that chainsaw. But it's all fun and games until he dies in his sleep. <laughs> that got real dark. Just the idea of them all stopping rowing and doing all the mimes because suddenly he stops breathing. And the, the smiles turn to worry. Why is this funnier? You freak. Freak. You freak dog. What the hell's wrong with my dog? I don't know, the Rexicist. Hallelujah, Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Such a beautiful song. Oh, this is Barstool Sports again. Hallelujah, Sunday morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Scotland. Billy. It's a beautiful place. And when the water's gone over the sand Big at the bottom, yen. it's all turquoise. It looks like the Caribbean. You soon realize it's not the Caribbean when that water touches your scrotum. You go for the high jump record. <laughs> it doesn't help that Billy slays me. <sighs> oh, I love Billy. Always have. Always will. Diehard Billy Connolly fan. He made me want to get into comedy in some way. Call this comedy. This is modern comedy, I guess. Right? Number one hero. Number one comedic hero. Absolutely love that guy. I grew up on stand-up comedy. Uh, me and my brother used to watch stand-up comedy all the time. We had VHSs of many different stand-up comedians, uh, Lee Evans being one of them. I've always really, really enjoyed stand-up comedy, and Billy was one of my favorites. In fact, Billy was the first ever VHS I got. But I remember that at my school, my primary school, had done a, like, a car boot sale. But I remember my school did one, and it was inside, and me and my brother went in, and we saw this, this VHS, this videotape. That's how long ago this was. And it was Billy Connolly. It was, it, it was his, uh, an evening with Billy. Can't remember the name of it, but it's the one where he's wearing the, the zebra print, and he's performing in front of all of these, these 80s celebrities. And me and my brother watched that, and we cried. We cried laughing every single time. We cried laughing. It was the funniest thing we'd ever seen. And that made me want to get into comedy. I don't know why. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Do all cats do this when they poo? Or is this one broken? Considering this is the second cat I've seen do this. I don't- I don't tend to watch my cat when he poops! So it's hard to say. But it is the f one of the funniest things I've ever s ever seen. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> oh! It was almost like... <sighs> oh, that's so good. Oh, this is good wine. His face! His face at the end! It was almost like a movie! It was like... It, it was like it was like a, a comedic reaction. His face. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. Biff from Back to the Future sort of reminds me. But I, there was no specific scene like that that happened. But still, just the reaction was just so movie, movie-like. Ugh. All right. Thank you, everyone, for... And I and I won. And that's it. I win. I didn't laugh. I nearly did, but I, I didn't. Didn't laugh. Look at that. <sighs> I'm going to try and not laugh at some fail videos in the future. That's, that's sure to be funny. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I had a great day today because I made it a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. Alright. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs>